Hello mga katuto, welcome to One on One TV and Tutorials. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay solving problems involving probability. Probability is the possibility of occurrences of events which can be expressed as a fraction, a decimal, or a percent. So ito yung ating mga probability rules. Number one, the probability of any event is a number, either a fraction, a decimal, or a percent. From 0 to 1. Number 2. If an event will never happen, then the probability is 0. Number 3. If an event is sure to happen, then the probability is 1. And number 4. The sum of the probabilities of all the outcomes in the sample space is 1. So ito yung ating formula. P of E is equal to the number of outcomes in the event over the number of outcomes in the sample space. So let's have this example. Getting a HH in flipping two coins. So ang number of outcomes in the event natin ay 1 and that is HH. So yun yung ating event, getting a HH. Then, the number of outcomes in the sample space is 4. And that is HH, HT, TH, and TT. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, meron tayong 4. So, therefore, the probability of getting a HH is equal to 1 fourth. So, ito yung 1. Then, ito yung 4. Or, 0 0.25. Or, 25%. Pero sa ating mga example, ang gagawin natin ay in fraction form. Let's have an example. Set A is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So bilangin natin yung mga given numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So meron tayong 9 numbers. Okay, so sagutan na natin. What is the probability of having 9? So kung titignan natin dito sa ating given numbers, meron tayong isang 9. So, therefore, ang sagot natin ay 1 over 9. Next, number 2. What is the probability of having 14? Kung titignan natin dito, wala tayong makikitang 14. So, therefore, ang sagot natin ay 0. Next, number 3. What is the probability of having an odd number? So, ang odd number natin ay 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. So, bibilangin lang natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, meron tayong 5 odd numbers out of the 9 numbers. So, ang sagot natin ay 5 over 9. Next, number 4. What is the probability of having an even number? So, ang even numbers natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4. So, meron tayong 4. So, therefore, 4 over 9. Next, number 5. What is the probability of having a number divisible by 3? So, kung titignan natin, ang divisible by 3 ay 6, 9, and 12. So, meron tayong tatlo. So, the answer is 3 over 9 or the lowest term of that is 1 third. So, the answer is 1 third. Next, number 6. What is the probability of having a number greater than 10? So, kung titignan natin dito, ang mga numbers greater than 10 ay 11, 12, and 13. So, that is 3. So, 3 over 9 or 1 third. Next, number 7. What is the probability of having a number divisible by 2 and 3? So, ang divisible by 2 and 3 dito ay 6 and 12. So, meron tayong dalawa. So, that is 2 over 9. Next, number 8. What is the probability of having a number less than 14? So, kung titignan natin dito, lahat itong given numbers na ito ay less than 14. So, therefore, ang sagot natin ay 1. Next, number 9. What is the probability of having a composite number? Ano nga ba ang composite number? Ito yung mga given numbers na pwede nating i-factor maliban sa 1. 
So, therefore, ang composite numbers natin ay etong 6, 8, 9, 10, and 12. So, ang bibilangin natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ang sagot natin ay 5 over 9. Next, number 10. What is the probability of having a prime number? Pag prime number naman, ito yung mga numbers na hindi pwedeng i-factor except 1. So, ito yun yung 5, 7, 11, and 13. So, bilangin natin 1, 2, 3, 4. So, meron tayong 4. So, 4 over 9. Subukan naman natin sagutan ang mga problems involving probability. Number 1. If a card is drawn from a well shuffled deck of 52 cards, find the probability of drawing an ace, a diamond, and a face card. So, simulan natin sa ace. So, pag sinabi nating ace, so meron tayong ace of heart, ace of diamond, ace of club, and ace of spade. So, meron tayong 4. So, ang sagot natin ay, the probability of drawing an ace is 4 over 52. Saan nakuha itong 4? Ito yun yung heart, diamond, club, and spade. How about this 52? Ito yung number ng cards, which is 52. And the lowest term of 4 over 52 is 1 over 13. Okay, next, find the probability of drawing a diamond. So, ace, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, jack, queen, king. So, kung bibilangin natin ito, meron tayong 13. So, ang probability of drawing a diamond is 13 over 52. Kung bibilangin natin ito, ito ay 13 over 52, yung number ng cards natin. At ang lowest term nito ay 1 fourth. So, let's have the third one. Find the probability of drawing a face card. Pag sinabi natin face card, ito yung mga may mukha. So, meron tayong apat na jacks. Meron tayong apat din na queens. Then, meron din tayong apat na kings. So, ang probability of drawing a face card is 12 over 52. So, kung bibilangin natin ito, so 4, 8, 12. So, meron tayong 12 over 52 or 3 over 13. So, let's have problem number 2. There are 20 marbles in a container. 4 are red, 5 are blue, and 11 are yellow. What is the probability that a red marble will be picked? So, ang hinahanap natin ng probability ay yung red marbles. Kung titignan natin dito, there are 4 red marbles. So, therefore, the probability of picking red marble is 4 over 20. Yung 4 ay yung number ng red marbles at yung 20 naman ay yung total ng marbles. So, 4 over 20 or 1 over 5. Okay, next, number 3. Daryl is asked to choose a day from a week. What is the probability of choosing a day which starts with S? So, kung titignan natin, so meron tayong Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, doon sa may 7 days na yon, so meron tayong dalawa na nagsisimula sa letter S. And that is Saturday and Sunday. So, therefore, the probability of choosing a day which starts with S is 2 over 7. Yung 2 ay yung Saturday and Sunday. Then, yung 7 naman ay yung Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Next, number 4. Choosing a month from a year. What is the probability of selecting a month with 31 days? So therefore, the probability of selecting a month with 31 days is 7 over 12. So meron tayong 7 months na may 31 days. So ito yung January, March, May, July, August, October, and December. So let's have problem number 5. If a letter is chosen at random from the word perseverance, what is the probability that the letter chosen is E? So, ang una natin gagawin dito ay bilangin natin yung letter E. So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4. So, meron tayong apat na letter E. Then, bilangin din natin kung ilang letters yung word na perseverance. 
So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, meron tayong 4 over 12. Or, lowest term of that is 1 third. Next, number 6. The sides of a cube are numbered 11 to 16. If Renz rolled the cube once, what is the probability of getting a composite number? So, yung 11 to 16, so that is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Then, ang composite numbers dito ay yung 12, 14, 15, 16. So, meron tayong 4. 4 over 6. Or, that is 2 third. Okay, next, number 7. Out of 45 students in a class, 25 are boys. If a student is selected at random for a field trip, what is the probability of selecting a girl? So, ang sagot natin ay, the probability of selecting a girl is 20 over 45. So, an nang galing itong 20? Ito yung number ng girls. Then, yung 45 naman ay yung total ng students. Or, the lowest term of this is 4 over 9. So, ganyan lang mga katuto kung paano mag-solve ng problems involving probability. Para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan ang lesson natin ngayon, pwede nyo ring sagutan ang mga sumusunod na mga tanong. Sana nakatulong ang video na ito para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan ang lesson nyo sa mathematics. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!